What is going on guys? Blazing Tech. Today we're going to be taking a look at Life Proof. The Nude. Now I really do enjoy using the case. Um, this case does everything that Life Proof has rated it to do and everything that it has promised to do. But there are definitely a few gripes and I want to get those out of the way. Now, the reason why I didn't do a review on this right when I opened it is that we all like things that are brand new, but after I've been using this for about five months, I really think I can start talking about the things that are great about LifeProof and the things that you maybe might need to take into consideration before you buy one. Number one, I'm just going to talk about how good that they built this case. This is my second nude. I've had the nude for the iPhone 6, and it worked well two things that I really disliked about it. One being that it really took away the sound quality and I just did not appreciate the fact that when I'm trying to watch YouTube videos the sound quality was completely muffled and um, as a result my second gripe is that the door was extremely weak. Um, the door for the lightning port. Now one of the tricks to get the sound quality to get better was to open the door and when you open the door, um, opening it and closing it often to watch videos, it got really flimsy and I didn't really trust it waterproof wise. Now this case, I have gotten it fully um, submerged in water a couple of times. Uh, I took it in my pool right when um, I put it on just to try it. And of course, I did the waterproofing test, but um, that took a while in this case to make sure that I could get that seal to work and I didn't want to throw my $500 phone in the case without the seal working but I, once I got it up and running uh, it's been a great case they solved that problem well it wasn't a problem when they put this case together but this case delivers good sound quality for my videos and um, another thing about the iPhone 6 nude case is that I got a lot of people telling me hey man I can't hear you when I was making a phone call with this case I have not had that problem and this case is actually really clean. You can see the clear plastic on the back and the screen right here. It's, it's a clean case and it's very simplistic. It's almost as thin as, oh say, a spec case, maybe a little bit thicker. And as you can see in the beginning of the video, I chucked this thing around. Um, I don't do that often. I maybe have dropped it really badly twice. Other than that, it's been very clean. But I'm going to get into my gripes. Number one gripe I would have to say is that um, in order to make these cases fully waterproof they had to cover up all of our ports and one port that got covered unfortunately was our headphone jack. Now you can see here you have to really unscrew this little thing right here to get to it but let's say for example I wanted to listen to music with my beats but I did not um, bring any anything to get into that hole right there. See that hole is very shallow. I can't get it to focus but trust take my word on that that hole is shallow and there's a threaded um, there's some threading in there. So let's say I wanted to just listen to some music on oh say a friend set of headphones but I didn't bring my adapter. That's impossible. You've got to carry around this little thing right here and this thing is not I'm not, it's not a big nuisance, but it's something that you really shouldn't have to carry around. And you have to do this with a lot of waterproof cases. So this is one of my small gripes for the life proof nude. And the same thing with the free. Now you see you have to screw this in and carrying this thing is kind of, it's really stupid. Honestly, it sticks out of your pocket and losing it, you'll have to replace it, pay like 10 bucks or something. It's just an extra hassle. And then screwing this thing back in to make sure that it continues to be waterproof. It's kind of nerve wracking, you know, you want to put it in tight, but you also don't want to put it in too tight to where you can't get it out or, and or break the case. Gripe number two would have to be that the Touch ID membrane here, it works well. Um, sometimes, you know, when you have a little like lotion or something like that on your fingers, um, it gets a little iffy and you can see here trying to get in it works now because my fingers aren't oily or anything or I don't have dirt on my fingers but when you have stuff on your fingers and you're trying to open your phone it can get a little um, 
Harry it doesn't like it that much and this membrane if you want to add a fingerprint it's not going to be a hundred percent accurate so if you want to add a fingerprint they recommend you take it out of the case but for the most part it works well my second gripe would have to be or my third gripe sorry would have to be that this case just gets extremely dirty now they do say that it is dust proof and they're completely true about that and there's no water getting into the case and there's no dust getting into the case but on the flip side the dust and things are accumulating up here so like in my front facing camera right here I've got a lot of dust accum accumulating right here and it's really hard to clean even with the smallest things like q-tips it's hard to get into those holes and you can see that grime right there another thing is you could say once I tell you this, you could tell me, oh, you should have just gotten the free. Well, if you've seen any reviews on the free, you know that the free's um, fully enclosed casing is actually, it sucks the experience out of using the iPhone. That's why they designed the nude, to keep it um, screenless. But, uh, you know, you buy this rugged case, and typically the person that buys this rugged case isn't somebody that's going to be willing to have their screen be at risk you can say so in order to keep this very safe what we ended up having to do is put a little piece of um, film on top of it um, on top of the screen in the case and you can't get that perfectly and um, this is my second attempt I got it pretty well but you can see here that the there's a gasket running around the screen right there on all four corners and this gasket, um, it gets dirty and grimy and you get all these little um, dust spots or something or it's things like that in the screen and you have to kind of get your nail and get it out and you feel the membrane, not the membrane, sorry, the gasket. And it's, and it's nasty. It's kind of weird. Um, you have to do that here too. You have to get your fingers in there and clean out the camera holes and the flash holes. And a lot of dust accumulates right here. And that has to be the biggest gripe of this case is that it just gets really dirty. And sometimes it's like, yeah, you can throw it in water and yeah, that's cool. But is it really worth it to carry this case that's getting really dirty that you're having to um, clean often? Um, and taking it apart, you know, if you don't put it back together properly and it doesn't complete the waterproofing seal can really um, make your day pretty bad if you're trying to go do some action sports and you find out that, oh crap, the gasket wasn't in properly. Um, yeah, so that's got to be my biggest gripe is that this case gets extremely dirty and it's hard to clean. But other than that, it does everything that LifeProof has marketed it to do and promised it to do. But for your everyday life, if you don't get your phone wet every single day, like I do not get this phone wet every single day, um, I would not recommend this case to you. I would say, you know, go out there and get a spec or get an OtterBox. But, you know, if you are that type of person that always wants to use their phone outside or if it rains a lot where you live or you do a lot of action sports, I definitely recommend the case to you. Um, again, Blazing Tech, thank you for watching. Um, I've recently reached um, 2,000... No, here you go, here you go. 21... Oh my gosh, I can't even think. It's Friday, sorry. 216,279 channel views and 210 subscribers. Um, this is absolutely awesome. I started out doing YouTube just to kind of get my um, two cents out there and to see that 210 people have interest in my videos and I've gotten all these views. It's kind of cool. Um, it shows how far my channel has progressed in, I want to say three, uh, yeah, going on three years. So awesome guys thanks for the support and hopefully you guys enjoy this video and if you did enjoy the video i post content like this often and you should definitely think about subscribing thanks for watching guys we'll catch you on the next one